y'all welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment i would greatly appreciate it so this video is going to be kind of crazy not really it was crazy recording and doing these nails but if you are familiar with any of my most recent videos um i did the nightmare before christmas water decal type things on these nails um and yeah so it was about a week later and she messaged me to let me know that like it may have started lifting a little bit like the water decal part was just not it just was not working out so I we made a day and she came back and I went ahead and removed that as well as the color that was on her index finger and we just painted um, with the uh, reflective gel polishes that like was on her thumb and then we just used the black glitter from the OMG collection from Not Polish to replace what was on her index finger. So anyways, yeah, so she had let me know that a couple nails had fallen off and things like that. And I went back to the video to try to see like what it like what products I used. You guys know that I have a crazy variety of nail supplies. So what happened is I changed monomers, I changed primers, things like that from like the first set that I did on her and that set worked. So I went back to what it was. I mean, if it's not broke, don't try to fix it. So yeah. Um, a lot of the i think the struggles too is she's a hairstylist so i mean she can she does some crazy colors and some hair so i'm gonna touch on that a little bit too because her natural nails kind of have like a little um just like a little it's got some color on there but if you don't know what it is then you'll kind of be like yeah what is that so i'm gonna tell you guys what that is but anyways um i have learned and i mean i've from watching other people and things like that too um, because hairstylists have their hands in water all the time and they're using their hands a lot all the time. I mean, you really got to do a little bit of extra to make sure that those nails stay on. So yeah, with this set, I'm really praying and hoping that it stays on. Um, I mean, luckily she will let me know as soon as something, you know, may not be right or whatever. So we go in to fix it. So, um, the other nails had fallen off and I asked, you know was do you, does she think that we could salvage the other one you really won't know until you go in to remove what acrylic you have on to just see like how much lifting there is so yeah come to find out there was lifting on every single nail and so we went ahead and just cut those down um filed them down and we're just soaking them so while those are like soaking in these little clips i'm gonna go ahead and start prepping her nails um i'm using the skiver bit from Atwood Industries to go around her cuticle area and get any of that cuticle and dead skin off of her or nail bed and then uh, I used my sanding band I used a ball bit and I used this bit um, but yeah I was just kind of having to like prep four nails and then scrape off you know and put back on yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and prep her nails and remove the rest I wanted to go ahead and include all of this in this video because yeah, it's just kind of like a lesson lesson learned and I mean that's kind of why I started uploading in the in the first place is so that if any of you are kind of like in the same boat as me, you were just practicing at home, things like that. Um, you know, you can kind of just I guess learn and learn from my lessons that I'm here to show you all. I think going back to the basics with her and using what already worked in the beginning, I think is going to be great too. I remember the last time that we had done her nails and she was kind of like indecisive on what she wanted to do next because she wanted fall nails but she also wanted to keep she just loves Halloween so I'm like hey we could just do like fall on one hand and Halloween on the other so this is where you see like her nail is kind of a little I mean it, to me it looks a little brown but that's just hair color you know um, I want to start using the stain resistant top coat on, on the underneath part where her nail is because I think that'll help um, you know the hair color not staining her nails um, there was also a little bit of leftover polish that I didn't file off either 
but yeah I mean you'll see once I go to put the tips on I mean it's I got all of that stuff off so all it is is just hair color from her doing all of her crazy hair stuff so I'll leave her Instagram down below so that you guys can see the amazing work that she does because oh my gosh it is so beautiful but yeah I'm gonna let you guys finish watching this process I'm gonna go ahead and show a little bit of putting some the nail tips on and things like that and then I'll pop back in for the acrylic application So moving on, I went ahead and cleansed the nails after putting the tips on. We did, I did go ahead and shape off of camera as well. I used the almond like pre-shaped nails from um, Glitter Planet, but I still had to cut the nails down because those were just way too long. I dehydrated, I primed, and then I go in with another coat of primer right before I put the acrylic on the nail. So I actually kind of forgot that this was the fall nails. So these first two fingers are a little chunky. Um, I was kind of able to fix that with the file, but yeah, so this is supposed to be an ombre nail with this gorgeous loose glitter. It's called Bonfire from Profiles Backstage. Um, and you'll see I go ahead and put that on there. I do skip a little steps because that loose glitter was a little difficult for me. Um, it, did, it wasn't like sticking to 
the acrylic I already had on there and I already had a whole lot of acrylic on there so I didn't want to have to put any more like clear on there for it to stick to you and things like that yeah so whew, there was a, some fun times but yeah here's that glitter from profiles backstage if you want to shop from them they have super affordable nail art I do have a coupon code Sabra rocks if you want to save 10% on your order and yeah so this is just kind of like an ombre of the glitter down the next nail I don't even think I show that one because um, that's just basically nude and then I put this loose glitter over the entire nail and then for the middle finger we're doing encapsulated fall leaves and I'm so sorry y'all for the next hand when it comes to the fingers that have stickers on them which is like three of them I just did the same nude and this nude is called first nude from not polished I'm not sure if I mentioned that or not but yeah so once um, I got the the nude on and then we did the filing and stuff I kind of just set my phone down and then I never picked it back up to record and she had said something she's like are we done recording and I'm like yeah but uh, we kind of wasn't because I didn't even show that whole part but basically what I did is I did a layer like this of the nude and then um, once I filed and buffed and all that stuff I went in with one coat of black magic from profiles backstage and all that is is just a black gel polish it's, it's wonderful like you really only need one coat and then I used the same little holographic flakes that you'll see for the next hand it's like the chrome flakes so I was able to get like a eyeshadow applicator and we just kind of ombre those down on those nails that have stickers on them so I'm gonna let you guys just go ahead and watch this process
All right, so moving on to the next tan, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this first nude from Not Polished, and then we'll get into what I do on the middle finger, and I believe I do the same thing on the thumb. So I'm basically just doing some encapsulated bats. I got those from Profiles Backstage as well. They are kind of on the larger side, so if you, I mean, I'm still gonna recommend you to you know get them from um, profiles backstage because they still I mean even though they're big it's okay I mean you can still use them like I did another design with them after this one and their nails were just a little shorter so I was only able to place one bat on there so that's the only like disadvantage to them being just on the larger side so yeah just be mindful of that if you do end up getting though so it's still well worth it and it they're pretty pretty nice looking and stuff like that and it just definitely made this this side of her hands pop I th really think I'm about to do at least one of my nails the same way eventually so I'm just trying to do a super thin layer after doing my pink set of nails <laughs> and you know longer nails calls for more product it kind of took me a little bit to get back into like I'm doing shorter nails so you need smaller beads type things so yeah I really hope that whenever it comes time and I've graduated school and I have my license because I'm not going to be doing nails out of my home anymore I won't have a lot of distraction so I'll be able to really focus on my plan of action for a set of nails so yeah I just kind of struggle with that just a little bit so one good tip when you're doing nail designs like this and you have these types of decals that you're going to encapsulate is to try to go ahead and put them on whenever the base layer of acrylic is still kind of wet a little bit so that way you can like use the end of your brush or find a tool and you can kind of press that decal into that acrylic so that way you're not having to hold it there or super glue it down because if those little decals do not stay in place it's just going to cause a whole lot of issues when you go to file because it's going to just it's just not going to make the nails look very clean so and you might end up filing off half of the bat wing or the decal that you're using so yeah but this holographic holographic chrome flakes that i got from profiles backstage as well it is super gorgeous and it looks super gorgeous probably more gorgeous in person but i highly recommend that i mean if you want to get any of their little flake nail art stuff it's definitely worth it so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and do the same design on the thumb and I'm so sorry again because I really wanted to show you guys me painting with gel polish and then putting on those stickers and applying the chrome it was like the end of our end of our nail appointment and I really get off of track because I'm thinking all right let's finish these nails you know and yeah just oh well it's okay I'll get into a better routine when it becomes more consistent I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you are not aware yet I am trying to change my YouTube name um, and I have a poll going on on my community post and if you're interested um, even if you don't want to enter in the giveaway you can still vote I have about like five or six different options of different YouTube names that I've thought about um, and yeah so if you vote and then you comment done below that post on my community tab um, that will automatically enter you into my next giveaway so yes please vote and please comment and let me know if even if the, you don't like any of the options that I have maybe something else it's pretty cool just to see what other people that what other people think But all right, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and let y'all finish watching this. I'll pop back in in a couple of minutes.
point you all we are getting pretty close to being done with this nail design so I'm just going back in and up applying any some clear acrylic to any of the nails that may need additional acrylic over the top I like to go ahead and you know especially when I'm encapsulating I obviously want to try to encapsulate you know the whole decal or whatever glitter or whatever it is that I'm going to encapsulate and then I'll let that dry and then I'll go back in with some you know more clear acrylic over the top I mean it may not be dried all the way before I go back in but um, I just feel like if I try to go ahead and like put it all on there at once it ends up getting way too bulky because it's clear and it's kind of hard to see and even though I could turn it to the side and look it's just it's better for me to just go ahead and put some on there move on to the next nail and come back to that nail that way I just I have a more accurate amount of acrylic on the nails so I hope you guys enjoy this video please subscribe like comment share and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching.